Hey, what's going on everyone? Aaron here, Kite Paddle Surf, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Slingshot Rally GTV2. This is one of our uh, favorite kites here at Kite Paddle Surf. We're going to be going through it, talking about all the details, and talk about why it's such a great kite. Let's get into it. So I'm leading edge. Yep, good stitch in there. Stitching. Yep. Uh, Got the Mylar reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Uh, doodads here. The split struts sewn in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Quad techs. All right, so here it is. The Rally GT V2, eight meter, all pumped up, looking good. Definitely pretty compact, uh, kind of mid aspect, I would say. Not too high aspect. And uh, yeah, it looks really good. This year they've kind of cleaned up a few things on the kite uh, for, the, for the V2 over the V1. Uh, first, we'll start off with the bridle. Uh, they put a pulley in the bridle on eight meter and up, and they found that it really helped the kite have a lot more range uh, as far as the low end to the high end. Uh, seven meter and down, they still have it fixed. It does not have this. Uh, I personally like it when it has this. It just fe like, feels like it gives the bars a lot more of a fluid feeling from fully powered to letting it out. So I'm a big fan of pulleys. Glad to see that. Uh, as always a slingshot, you got three different attachment points. Uh, if it were me and I was on the eight meter, I'd probably be on the closest setting, usually 10, 10 meter I'm on the middle and then 12 meter, 14, I go to the outside just because I want to be able to move the kite. Uh, reinforcements, as you can see here, they, uh, I've never seen this before, but they've reinforced this kind of elbow right here quite a bit. So dragging it on the beach or uh, landing it, leaving it on the beach. This is looking really nice and reinforced here. I like seeing that. The Dacron is very minimal on this. I mean, this is all sail and then straight to the Dacron. Not much there, just enough there for rigidity and strength. Uh, they are using the quad techs on this. Uh, on this kite so it's really great some of the best material it's going to hold up and uh yeah it looks really good so uh split struts in the rally gt uh that's for structural rigidity keeping the kite nice and tight uh which is awesome it's just going to make the kite perform better the le this year has been reduced over the v1 and so that's going to get that kite a little bit further out to the edge of the window it's not going to feel maybe quite as grunty as the previous version where it sits further back. Uh, with that sitting at the edge of the window, the, um, the power and depower is going to feel a lot smoother. Um, shutting off the power and bringing on that power on. Uh, we got single, single point inflation here. And then we got a dump valve. Uh, you can always cut off or um, isolate the air in the struts for... Uh, for safety and for maintaining air pressure in the struts. The paneling is pretty minimal. They haven't done a lot of paneling on this, which is gonna make the kite lighter, stronger. Uh, we've been teaching on this kite. It's a great kite for teaching because it is very user-friendly. And user-friendly means it's very predictable. It's going to, uh, you're gonna be able to feel the power of this kite. And when you're uh, moving it, around in the wind window, you're just gonna know where it is at all times and the power delivery is just really smooth. And the turning of this kite is uh, fast, but not reactive. I would say like the SST is a very reactive kite in that it can, uh, it can move fast. It can go where you want to go really quickly when you're on a waves. But when you take the Rally GT, I feel like it's fast but it's very, uh, you know when it's gonna move the direction you want to go. And it's not gonna be, I feel like some of the other kites turn a little bit slower and for learning, that's not quite what you want. I feel like you need to be able to move that kite to get it in the power zone that you want. It's gonna work great for foiling because the low end has great um, light wind capabilities. Three strut, relatively pretty lightweight. Uh, it's not gonna be as lightweight as a single strut or obviously a no strut kite, but it's gonna give you that versatility. So if you wanna go out and surf with it, you can twin tip, you can foil with it, lots of options with a, with a Rally GT V2. Uh, another great thing I wanna point out on this kite is the price point. 
we have these on sale. All right, so there it is, the Rally GT V2 by Slingshot. It's an awesome kite. I think you're gonna be stoked on this if you're looking to upgrade your uh, kite or you just finished your uh, kite lessons and you wanna buy your first kite. So we have uh, all the sizes from the small eight meters all the way up to the 14 meter. Uh, yeah, so check them out online. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can uh, see the sizes and the color waves that we have. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, and we're gonna keep getting more videos out there for you guys. Thanks again for watching. See you guys on the next one.